I had the great privilege to listen to Deet Eman, a leader in the Dutch resistance during the Second World War, give her counsel and advice to young people about the lessons that she learned in life that are applicable to all of us, young and old, today. Let's listen. You know, Deet, one of the things that is really on my heart, and I believe it's on your heart, are the young people. You know, we see our young people today, and what, were, what would be some things that you would want young people to think about today? Uh, maybe lessons in life that you've learned. What would you say to some young people today about what I the Lord... I always say that from the day you are born till the day you die, there is not one life that goes totally smooth. Yeah. And somewhere you get a heavy burden. Yeah. And it can be sickness, it can be that you're alone, it can be anything, but every life gets that, there is not one life. And then I would say, if that happens, remember what Jesus said, lo, I am with you always. Right. And when I was arrested and I sat in that cell, they had not taken my bobby pin. And it was a brick wall, it was a horrible cell. But I scraped every day and there were four others in and they were good. So they looked at the spy hole in the door that there was no guard. And then I scraped and over the days and I embroidered that thing that under the blanket and later in the camp. But I wrote on that, lo, I am with you always. And whatever yes. happens, you're never alone. Yeah. Because Normally, when you're sick or you have trouble, there is somebody who loves you, takes care of you or That's whatever. Right. But there was nobody. And that is very unusual because if you are sick or go through a divorce or whatever, your family and your loved ones are around you. But there was nobody, only yeah. God. And he was sufficient. Yeah, just, 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 to let the young, the young, sufficient. yeah just to let the young people know that they're going to have trials in life. They will have it. They're going to have the trials coming and that the Lord is always with them to always and carry also, that in their God heart. God never gives more than you can bear. Yes. That's another thing. Yes. So if you get a heavy load, then God gives also the strength to take it. Yeah. Because he does not give us more than we can bear. So that are two very important things. Very important things for young people to consider. And I really am amazed because I was thinking of the day I was arrested in the train. I had so many dangerous things. I would be shot. So you were, you were carrying, what were you carrying when they arrested you? What, what, all what did stolen you, stuff. Okay, so you had all of this stolen stuff. In an envelope here. Envelopes all over and your body. And here I okay. am surrounded by five Gestapo guys. Yes, five Gestapo. And I was praying to God, Lord, this is my sure death. If it's possible, give me a chance to get rid of it. Yeah. And you say, humanly possible, with five people around you, it's not. And yeah. God did a miracle because the plastic had just found me out. Plastic, that's now so normal. But yes. that had just been found out. And the tallest guy, he was far over six feet. He had a shiny gray military raincoat on. He had a big raincoat. And know. at okay. that time, on, everything was gabardine, and if it was very rainy, it was soaking wet. Yeah. It didn't yeah. And also, all the pockets were always in the gabardine here in the side seams. Yes. But this guy had a raincoat, shiny, and it had two big pockets here that had never been seen. Right in the front. Yeah. And so I hear, and I pretended I couldn't hear German, but I heard one say, is that that new material? Is this really waterproof? And the guy said, yes, it's waterproof. And I, we were standing on the station. Or all, I was arrested in the train, and they'd taken me out, and I had to go to the prison. So we were in Utrecht there mm -hmm. to take another train that would go to the prison. And we were standing there, and all people were going up and down and up and down. And I said, oh, Lord, let me get a chance. Then I can throw it away. Then it can be anybody with hundreds of people walking up and right, down right. because the trains were packed. And uh, there were so few trains. And, and then uh, I hear all of a sudden that one of the others said, is it really waterproof? Yes. And then he said, <laughs> And those big pockets, that is so nice. He says, yes. And he said, would you believe it? It has pockets on the inside. Now that is nowadays, it never happened. Yes. On the inside, and this tall guy opens it up wide. All the heads went in, and there went my envelope. <laughs> now, isn't that amazing? It's amazing, I mean, to go into the new raincoat. All I of a sudden, it goes that in. that morning, when that guy put on the raincoat, 
God must have smiled and that was the salvation of my life. Right, because if they had caught you with all of those things, you probably would have been I, executed. I would have been shot right They away. would have just taken you and shot you. Because I had all the stuff stolen from their offices. Right, yeah. In reflecting on Diet's life and the things we've just heard, it really strikes me that she came out with two profound things about the Christian life that I think are part for all of us in life. And the first thing is, is that we shouldn't be surprised by suffering, that suffering is going to come our way. It's going to come whatever age we're at and often in various circumstances that all of us as believers are going to suffer. But the enduring thing that Deep brought out so beautifully was her sharing about that no matter what suffering that she went through in her life, she always knew that the Lord Jesus Christ was with her. And I think that that whole understanding of Matthew 28 is that, lo, I am with you even to the end of the age. And through all of Deet's trials, all of her suffering, all of her pain, she knew deep down inside that the Lord was with her. And I think for all of us today, we're going to face suffering, but to leave with that wonderful truth and hope that the Lord is always with us, even to the end of the age, no matter what we're going through.